All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Zach from Nintendo Dads, uh, and today, ooh, where do I look? Um, we're like a few hours away from this uh, Switch for Kids interactive experience thing uh, is live, and I had an idea, and I wanted to record it. I wanted to record this and upload it before it happens because <laughs> this is fun. Um, because I had an idea of what it is, it's a prediction, it's nothing more. Uh, if I'm right, I uploaded it beforehand. If I'm wrong, then I look like an idiot, and that's fun for everybody, too. So, I call it the Switch Dot. And the Switch Dot is basically, uh, similar to, I probably should have had one, I have one in a bin somewhere. Similar to the Wii Fit Tracker, or the Poke Walker. Um, it had the exact same form factor, it communicated with IR sensor, uh, and, uh, those were things that you could take with you that kind of brought a little bit of the Nintendo fun with you, right? Uh, the cool thing about that is that they are cheap to manufacture, which means that they could be cheap to buy, and if they were to mass produce those things and aim them at kids specifically so that you can bring a different character that you like with you like think of like a virtual pet tamagotchi sort of sort of thing bring it with you uh track your steps and then when you get home because ain't nobody letting their kid take a switch to school uh, and that's something that you could maybe get away with with the 3ds right uh you come home with that and maybe you can even communicate with your friends you kind of like aim them at each other right or whatever um you connect that to th and communicate to with the Switch through the IR sensor on the Joy-Con. You communicate that. And I don't know if that's ex actually how that thing works. I think it might just be a camera, so it may be one-way communication. Um, maybe it's two-way. I don't know. Uh, or you can even put, like, a little Amiibo chip in the thing, right? Like, you could be read-write that way. Um, but, yeah, then you end up just sort of talking to uh or you can play with your little character on the switch you set it up through the switch uh and uh, you have all these like mini games or something for kids but the coolest part being that you can then take your little character um whether it's a me or something else uh or uh, anything right and you can then go to school and you can interact with your friends and your little buddies can hang out with each other or something right i grew up in the day when like uh, the Tamagotchi era, and it wasn't just Tamagotchis, you could get, I can't remember what they were called, but you could, like, link them together. I know as a parent that my kids would go crazier for something like that, so, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, I think that that would be something, again, cheap to manufacture, the Switch Dot, and then, I mean, it, they could treat it like a little platform, mini platform thing for kids, where, uh, other games could kind of open up and, uh, you know, you get a game, and it's got, like, you can, when you get the new Kirby game, you send Kirby to the little, to the Switch dot, and then Kirby's hanging out with you, right? And you're, like, earning points by taking steps and all that stuff, so. I think there's a lot of potential there. Probably completely wrong. Uh, I think it also speaks to, however, I do also think it speaks to the, um, the people who are kids at heart thing, where they're aiming it at kids, but I would keep one of those in my pocket, right? Like, it, I keep it in my backpack, whatever. Uh, just a little doodad thing to keep me, uh, keep me entertained. I don't know. Anyways, that's all it is. The Switch Dot is what I'm calling it. And, uh, you know, they could charge 20 or 20, you know, they'd charge 20 bucks for that thing. Uh, yeah. So anyways, let me know what you think. By the time anybody sees this video, it's going to be over. I'll probably actually just, yeah, I'll upload it right now. So you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching. See you later.